As we all know, our little planet is getting ever more overcrowded. Globally, we're struggling to feed ourselves, to find fuel and natural resources to keep us going. But agricultural biotechnology is offering us some surprising seeds of hope. So common, so readily trodden underfoot, but experiments have been carried out on the humble dandelion in a special greenhouse in the Netherlands. Well, this is the so-called Russian dandelion. And this a very small plant it produces very nice, a very nice uh, latex in the roots. There's only one issue, that the roots are quite small. So what we are trying to do is to develop this small, tiny plant into a crop. It's a very small, uh, let's say, um, uh, root of, of, the, of the common dandelion. It's elastic. It's elastic. Natural rubber is a prized commodity with demand set to outstrip supply by 20% by 2020. And in an industry worth more than $100 billion a year, the dandelion could develop into a second natural source. This is one of the projects of Ian van Toonen, and his company Keygene in the Netherlands. We are trying to improve the size of the, of the roots of that species by crossing it with a bigger relative. In a highly automated environment, the company carries out research for plant breeders and seed companies to improve yield, quality and sustainability. A specially built greenhouse becomes a photography studio where plants are scanned at every angle. The genetic material, or DNA, of plants with desirable characteristics is isolated and sequenced. How is this different from genetic manipulation? Well, we don't introduce a gene from a, f uh, a different species into our crops. We always take advantage of the DNA which is already in that species itself. Key Gene argues its approach is a quicker and cheaper way of improving crops. Normal breeding, crossing and selecting from idea to seed sales, it takes you 10 years. With GM, it takes you between 10 and 14 years. With our molecular breeding approaches, it takes you around 7 years. And with the world's population expected to rise from 7 billion to more than 9 billion by 2050, increasing seed yields is vital. But what of the Dandelion project? Keygene is collaborating with the multinational tyre manufacturers, Apollo Vredestein. Other tyre makers, Bridgestone in America, Continental in Germany, are also carrying out research in this field. But here, they already have something to show us. This is one of those. It's a, so you can really say this is a very special tyre, because it's one of the two tyres in the world that are built out of dandelion tyre. So how far away are we from having dandelion tyres on the road? We are confident that we, that we can do that as soon as the material is available in enough volume to be put into the tire. Is it, is it economically viable? Oh sure, it has a business value. The raw materials are an, uh, a big part of the cost price of tires. So having raw material that is economically feasible and sustainable, that will be a requirement of the future. So we believe that investment in this kind of technology will pay back. One tyre requires 1,500 dandelion plants. If the yield can be maximised and companies like Keygene can make fatter roots, then we may have this visionary new crop on our roads within five to ten years.